Hi guys, welcome to the Epi Resonance Chemistry. Now let us continue our lectures on uh, biomolecules, in particular the uh, carbohydrates, uh, part number nine. So in previous video, I had uh, given uh, two questions. That is, that means I had subtracted two questions. One is the name of the compound and uh, like a uh, percentage of alpha and beta isomer of the given structure. Okay. Now we know that the structure of the compound. So if you know the if you don't know the structure of the compound, then Please watch my videos, previous videos. So those are conversion of uh, cyclic chain structures to the Harvard Hamill Fisher model. Okay. Now here it gives the open chain structure that is uh, like a CHO. Now the second position is up, upside. Left is up according to the Lars rule. Third is upside that is also up. Now again the fourth one is downside that is the right side. So again the final one D isomer that is also right side. This is the open chain structure of the corresponding product. Open chain structure of the corresponding product. Again I'll give the like some simple trick regarding to the like. Like a identification of naming of carbohydrates that is get raxel like a a a g m g i g t okay now here the bottom one is uh, seems to be glycerol head next one is right side oh then we select the left side next one is left side oh then we select the right side next is the left side then we select the right side that is mannose so this is the like the, this is uh, the structure belongs to the mannose type structure this is the mannose striker so in case of mannose the first uh, first question answer is uh, cleared the name of the compound is mannose here it is the alpha mano pyranose beta mano pyranose this is the open chain form of the pyranose uh, sorry mannose structure now the second question is uh, percentage of alpha and beta isomer in previous case uh, we will calculate the like percentage of beta and uh, alpha isomers let us assume a is the percentage of uh, isomer percentage of uh, alpha isomer now 100 minus a is percentage of beta isomer percentage of beta isomer okay now here a is the uh, percentage of alpha isomer now here we will have the like a specific rotation 29.3 plus 29.3 into a okay plus now the beta isomer rotation is minus 17 that is 100 minus a into minus 17.0 specific rotation which is equal to the 100 into like uh, the specific rotation 100 into 14.2 okay now here 29.3 a plus 100 into 17 17.0 that is minus 1700 minus into minus plus 17a here equal to the 1420 1420 now here 29.3a plus 17 point uh, like a uh, yeah, that is 46.3a is equal to 1420 plus 1700 1420 plus 1700 which is equal to the 3120 so now here 46.3a here a is equal to 3120 by 46.3 which is approximately equal to the 67.38 now this is the alpha isomer a is the alpha isomer now the beta isomer is equal to 100 minus alpha so 100 minus alpha is 67.38 now approximately it is closer to the 32.62 32.68 this is the beta isomer this is the alpha isomer so because of that uh, here alpha isomer is more stable than that of the beta isomer in case of uh, mannose structure this is the like a previous video uh, previous video uh, like a uh, remaining topic now let us go through the new topic Okay, now let us continue the new lecture on particularly like a glycosidic linkage in carbohydrates. Glycosidic linkage. In this session, we will discuss the like a glycosidic linkage reactions as well as the hydrolysis reaction, the formation, etc. Okay, now the first of all, here it is the like open chain structure of glucose. Open chain structure of the glucose HOH, OHH, HOH. HOH. This is the open chain structure of the glucose moiety. This is glucose moiety. Whenever which is treated with a, like a methanol, which is treated with methanol in presence of HCl, so it forms two types of isomer. We are already discussed like a, it forms the like a, two types of isomer that is a, like OCH3H. CH2OH. This is the like a cyclic form OH H sorry, like HOH, OHH, HOH, 
H. Okay. Now here it is the one of the isomer. Again it forms the another isomer O C H three H C H two O H H O H O H H H O H H. -H, -H, -H. Okay. So this is the alpha isomer. This is the beta isomer. This is the beta isomer. Okay, now here it forms the only one of the isomer uh, isomeric form that is the alpha position only. Here it having the like several types of OH, but uh, it exclusively forms the only one mono ether formation. Mono ether formation. Now let us convert these products into like cyclic chair form. Here it may be alpha isomer that is a, a bottom side OH, 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 OH. Okay, so now here it is the beta isomer. OH sorry here OCH3 OH 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 okay this is the alpha isomer this is the beta isomer this is the beta isomer okay now here it having the like one two three four four this is the fifth one in starting position so the fifth five, five among the five hydroxyl group only one of the hydroxyl group can converts into corresponding uh, corresponding ether formation corresponding ether complex so what will happen why these four are unreactive this is only a reactive species now here it is the alpha isomer this is the beta isomer among among these two alpha isomer is major product uh, when compared to the beta isomer now here it is the minor product not the stability so here it is the major product uh, here approximately it is a uh, isolated the product of 49 percent so here it isolated the 49 percentage of the reaction 49 percentage of the reaction so this is the simplest ring okay now we have the two type two doubts one is how among the five hydroxyl group among the five hydroxyl group only uh, only one hydroxyl group can convert it into ethers that is the first doubt why that is the first doubt now the second so alpha is the major isomer why it is major isomer when compared to the beta isomer okay now here before going to the these two doubts explanation now here the first carbon this is the first carbon so if this is second third fourth fifth first second third fourth fifth okay now the first carbon having the like a structural change hoh -H left right side or hoch -H3, whatever the group or -R -O -H, doesn't matter hoh -H structural change is observed at the first carbon atom that relationship is called anomeric relation that relationship is called anomeric relation other than the first carbon other than the first carbon we already discussed we had already discussed other than the first carbon those relations are called epimers those relations are called epimers at first carbon it shown the like a structural change then it is called uh, anomerism okay so now uh, remember it if first carbon having the like two types of isomer definitely it having the cyclic chain structure okay so anomer anomeric relation observed at the cyclic form open chain form we are also observed like epimers in cyclic form also so we can have we can observe the epimer relation but exclusively anomers can observe in case of cyclic form so not the open chain form not the open chain form this is the anomeric relation okay so now the first carbon is called anomeric carbon first carbon is called anomeric carbon so anomeric carbon having the like or group this is the like och3 or group or nr group or sr groups okay these type of groups observed at the anomeric carbon those linkages is called glycosidic linkage this is called glycosidic linkage okay now if it, which is connected to the oxygen then it is called oxy glycoside if it is connected to the nitrogen then n glycosides if it is connected to the sulfur it is a, a s glycoside okay now i'll show the those type of uh, examples uh, nitrogen containing glycoside adenosines like a sr uh, sr type of containing glycosides so those are the sig nines okay so now i'll show you these type of three examples regarding to the glycosidic linkage okay now anomeric carbon having the or group or n or sr those type of uh, group Groups which are connected to uh, like anomeric carbon those are called glycosides okay are you clear about that glycosidic linkage means uh, anomeric carbon attached positions or uh, attached groups or that bond particularly that bond is called glycosidic bond okay now let us go through the like explanation about uh, our two doubts okay now we'll go through the mechanism complete mechanism of these two formations so definitely we will fulfill our doubts
okay now here it is the structural form so let us uh, let us take the either a beta isomer or a alpha isomer. let us assume any one of them so whether it is beta d glucose or uh, alpha d glucose definitely it is beta d glucose okay now here beta d glucose d glucopyranose why because here they have in the pyranose type structure whenever the presence of a h plus so we will take the methanol in h which is here okay that means here acidic medium h plus here the anomeric carbon attached to oh group can abstract the proton and it forms the oh2 can it forms the oh2 plus okay now here it is the oh here oh here oh here oh okay now here oh is the living group but oh2 plus is the better living group OH is when compared to the OH, H2O is the better living group. That's why it readily abstracts the proton, then it converts into H2O. Now, here it is leaved. H2O is eliminated. H2O is eliminated. OH, 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 OH. Here it is the positive charge. Here it is the positive charge so here these positive charge can stabilize it by the adjacent hetero atom lone pairs adjacent hetero atom lone pairs now it forms the these type of structure so here oxygen having the more than equivalency then it gets the positive charge oh 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 okay now here it is the possibility now here these carbocation will stabilize it by the adjacent heteroatom lone pairs okay now here it creates the planar carbocation uh, here it is the planar carbocation now here it undergoes the two types of additions two types of additions two types of nucleophilic addition now here our nucleophile is methanol here the lone pairs of methanol will attack over there okay either in through the axial direction or through the equatorial direction so this is the a this is the b so this is the like equatorial direction b okay now if our methanol will attack through the axial direction then it forms the o here oh the remaining things are same oh here oh now here it if oh o nucleophile attack over there then here it uh, ca carbon counter is more that's why the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the oxygen atom then it creates the neutral oxygen then it creates the neutral oxygen now here it is o methanol o methanol now if it attacks the, through the like uh, equatorial position equatorial position it forms the, this type of och3 this type of och3 okay now here it forms a, like a alpha OCH3 and beta OCH3 this is alpha glycosidic linkage beta glycosidic linkage among these two one is a major product which is isolated like 49 percent why because here oxygen having the like a corresponding lone pair of electrons okay whenever the nucleophilic attack through the like a equatorial position the nucleophile having the lone pairs okay additional lone pairs the now oxygen having the lone pairs those two lone pair electrons repel to each other that's why this attack is unfavorable that means here it attacks the like a, here it attacks the equatorial position very small uh, like a very small favorable conditions only okay now if in case of uh, like a axial attack it is free from the like electronic repulsion that's why here it is the major product here it is the minor product here it is the major and minor so major and minor product doubt is clear but why among the five hydroxyl group uh, anomeric oh is can, uh, anomeric oh can only convert the corresponding ether why okay now let us go let us look down the, our uh, remaining uh, hydroxyl group if here oh is uh, protonated these steps are uh, now i'll explain these steps uh, again one more time okay now here this this is the oh if in first step it is a protonation so if let us assume here it is the protonation takes place okay now the second step uh, protonation followed by the elimination it creates the positive charge so that is the simple carbocation that is the simple secondary carbocation there is no additional stability adjacent to oxygen atom now here it forms the simple carbocation that is especially secondary carbocation doesn't matter but here it is stabilized by the heteroatom lone pairs okay
okay now in case of pinnacle pinnacle on rearrangement hetero atom stabilized carbocation will more stable uh, more stabilized than that of the free carbocation okay free carbocation that's why here it forms the carbocation here it forms the carbocation here it forms the carbocation here also forms the carbocation this is very uh, less stable than that of these these three okay now here it is the primary these are the like secondary atoms okay now these secondary atoms are less stable than that of the anomeric carbo carbocation why because these anomeric carbocation will stabilize it by the ring oxygen atom lone pairs that's why here anomeric atom only converts into like a ethers so that's it that is the major prop uh, major reason regarding to the like our a glycosidic linkage glycosidic linkage this is the complete mechanism first step is protonation second step is elimination third step is uh, like uh, here it is the formation of compound now here third step is a nucleophilic attack okay here the nucleophilic attack if methanol is used now we will convert the corresponding o och3 if ethanol is used och2 ch3 och2 ch3 so this is the simplest reaction mechanism now let us discuss the other reactions uh, of cyclic structure of carbohydrates especially monosaccharides now let us discuss the some of the other reactions of cyclic cyclic uh, carbohydrates especially monosaccharides of cyclic structures okay now in previous case this is the like a cyclic compound oh oh especially it is a uh, glucose whether it is beta d glucose or uh, alpha d glucose doesn't matter okay cyclic structure whenever which is treated with methanol in presence of hcl it forms the like a glycosidic linkage only glycosidic linkage oh 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 o methanol okay so this is the glycosidic linkage whenever the presence of glycoside it treated with a uh, like a um, methyl iodide especially alkyl iodide in presence of silver oxide alkyl iodide in presence of silver oxide like it forms the like OH, OH, like OH, OH, OH. Okay, so this is the general OH. Now, here already it is methylated, already it is methylated. Whenever we use the four moles of methyl iodide in presence of uh, like basic medium AG2O, now here all the OHs can convert it into like uh, ethers corresponding methylated ethers corresponding methylated o ethers all the oh only not the o okay now here it forms the like a penta a penta methylated derivative penta methylated derivative so here it, it requires two steps instead of these two steps we use the like a methanol in presence of a, like a ag2o that is a basic medium instead of acidic medium we use the basic medium in presence of methanols or alkyl halides alkyl halides directly it can convert it into like a penta derivative product a penta derivative product this is the like a penta derivative product so in case of a penta derivative whenever it undergoes the hydrolysis reaction whenever it undergoes the hydrolysis reaction in presence of hcl it undergoes the hydrolysis reaction in presence of hcl here only the glycosidic methanol can only hydrolyzed glycosidic methanol can only hydrolyzed o methyl o methyl o methyl o methyl okay so this is the glycosidic hydro uh, glycosidic uh, o methyl can only hydrolyzed then it converts into like their uh, open chain form now here cho ch2 o methyl like o methyl o methyl h O methyl H O methyl H H. So here one methyl, methyl, th second, third, fourth, fifth, like a five methylated, that is a five ether derivative compound of glucose. Okay. So penta methylated o glucose derivative. Here it is the like OH, it can be converted into corresponding the ketoenal tautomerism. Then it forms the open chain form. Then it forms the open chain form. So this is the another reaction. So this this step is very important, which is already given in the like a, a gate question, gate uh, 2014, I think. Okay now here the among the among the five methylated among the five methylated hydroxyl groups that is a uh, five uh, penta derivative of glucose whenever it undergoes the hydrolysis reaction only glycosidic o methyl can only hydrolyzed then uh, corresponding oh is getting okay that means a uh, uh, glycosidic o methyl can only gives the corresponding oh so then it forms the like uh, open chain structure also the it is equilibrium with uh, open chain structure 
Now here only glycosidic bond can, can only converts into corresponding OH. Okay. Not only this, so here it can also forms the like uh, not only ethers, it can also forms the esters also. Okay. So instead of uh, like a uh, methanol or alkyl halides, uh, we use the like uh, acetic anhydrides corresponding carboxylic acid uh, anhydrides or like this is the compound corresponding carboxylic acid anhydrides or uh, acidic chlorides uh, acid chloride ch3 co cl okay corresponding not only like ethanol chloride meet maybe propanoyl chloride uh, or benzoyl chlorides okay now here uh, in presence of pyridines or acidic anhydrides so it can converts into directly penta derivatives penta acylated derivatives Penta acylated derivatives. So here it is the like uh, simplest reaction. Okay. Now we are observed only like uh, ox oxyglycosidic reactions. Uh, some uh, some water uh, it may be glycosides. Uh, it can treated with uh, like uh, amines, like uh, N-methyl di uh, N-dimethylamine. Simply dimethylamine. It can gives the like a uh, corresponding N-methyl methyl N-glycosidic linkage also N-glycosidic linkage also. This is the uh, simplest reactions regarding to the glycoside. Now I'll give the one of the gate question regarding to the 2014 uh, two marker gate question. So it which is very easy reaction. Whenever you will watch the video completely, then definitely you will solve the those problem. I did not explain the complete uh, uh, complete. Uh, uh, question okay so now i'll give the question so then definitely you will uh, absorb the particular question definitely you will answer that question within minute within a minute now here the, that is the question so here it is oh 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 beta beta d glucose whenever it is treated with me2 so4 in presence of naoh in presence of naoh now the second is hcl in presence of water okay now simply it is um, HCl in uh, water. Okay. So now here it is a two uh, two reactions. Now the, there are options they are given in the like O. So that is a pentamethylated derivative. Pentamethylated derivatives. Okay. Now the option B is can primary methylated can only hydrolyzed. Primary methylated can only hydrolyze. Option C is glycosidic uh, uh, ether can only hydrolyze now the d except glycosidic all are hydrolyzed except glycosidic all are hydrolyzed so among the four options which is correct now let us uh, just pause the video now let us do the problem within minute okay okay guys it is clear so among the four options which is correct so it is very easier question. Uh, I think it is less than a minute. Okay. So the first of all, methyl, uh, like a dimethyl sulfonic acid, uh, like a sulfuric acid. So which is came from the like uh, H2SO4. Here it is the H2SO4 structure. So here O, o minus O minus H plus. So instead of H plus, they are given in the like methyl plus. So that indicates here it is methyl uh, cation is uh, readily available from the like Me2SO4, Me2SO4. Now here in presence of NaOH, particularly, so NaOH 30% reactions can only absorb. I will do the reaction. So 30% NaOH will give the best result. Okay. So in presence of 30% NaOH, uh, uh, like a methyl, uh, uh, dimethyl sulfuric, uh, sulfuric acid derivatives will give the like a penta derivatives, penta derivative, penta methyl ether derivatives. Okay. So then after HCl, that means. A hydrolysis reaction so hydrolysis reaction of a penta derivative glucose then it gives the like a only glycosidic ether can only converts into corresponding OH in presence of hydrolysis reaction so glycosidic ether can only hydrolyzed into their corresponding OH so option number C is correct okay so first of all it is a methylated then second one is hydrolysis so hydrolysis reaction when only occurs in presence of a glycosidic or a glycosidic ether linkage glycosidic ether linkage that's all for this video this is very helpful for the like ITJ advanced students need students so sometimes they are given in the like very difficult questions they are susceptible these type of questions in case of need students so very very important for the gate and CSIR aspirants okay uh, don't neglect it it is very important topic regarding to the like a carbohydrates chapter okay thank you so much for watching